Hi all, so I've got the face of, face of the clock, or the front of the clock done. Um, and I'll, now I'm just going to do these 45 degree bevels here, and then cut out these parts. After that, I'm going to stack cut the two sides. Um, and then I've got to split them and do 45 degree bevels here. So I can't, I don't think, I'm trying to work this out, but if I stack cut, if I've got them stacked, I can't put a 45 degree angle on both of them at this way, because that would be wrong. So I think I've got to split it and then, then do the 45 degree, I think. Anyway. Yeah, I couldn't go up that way to uh, finish the cut quickly. I had to go all the way through because uh, the throat of this um, saw is not long enough. It's only um, 18 or whatever it is. Oh boy. So let me just move this back. So there's the second bevel. Okay, so that's the roof. Yep, pretty happy with all that. Still needs to be sanded and uh, fitted. I've noticed, which is a good thing, for example, that is the bottom plate. And I've noticed this with all of them. Is that, yeah, that's the bottom plate there. That is the fitting for that. And all these I've cut on the line, but they're still too small. But um, that's pretty good because it's horrible when they're too big. So um, I've just got to, um, yeah, kind of open those holes up a fraction. It's probably a blade width. Um, and so that will be all in the um, the gluing up stage, or the finishing stage. But yeah, pretty happy with that. I've um, I marked the centre before taking the paper off. That is where the, the clock mechanism will come through, whether I have one that's stuck on the back or I take a big hole out and put a fascia in, I don't know yet. Like I said in the, uh, on the forum on the uh, post, I might, I might just go a little bit, because this is only for the uh, shed, I might go a little bit um, quirky and put in a, um, a digital face digital numbers I've seen a I haven't seen any round ones yet I'd like to get a round one but I've seen some square and they have uh, stuff like uh, temperature you know the out, out or interior temperature and stuff like that and the dates so it's like I said in the uh, post it's um, an old clock with a uh, new new um, new parts but well, it is an it's a new new part clock I don't know what I'm talking about actually but anyway there you go Hi all, so I'm kind of two thirds of the way through this last piece. Um, I've used a, a large uh, number five blade for these larger uh, cuts and then these smaller ones are just dropped down to a number two. Um, I don't think, it, personally myself, if you could do it with all the small blade but you know the small blade seems to wander more so while they're big cut out you may as well do it with a, a larger you know a thicker blade stays in line better i find anyway um i wanted to point out a little mistake on the drilling earlier with this pattern um i started drilling away and then i put a drill hole through the part that actually stays here and uh and there it is there um, I actually marked it on the back, so I didn't actually kind of cut anything out. But anyway, um, I kind of noticed it before I did the, this other one as well, and this one. So I've put a little drill hole through that. No big deal. Uh, I'll either fill it, or I might put, I don't know, a piece of 
you know, little sparkly gem in it, you know, um, just to make it look all right. But these are side panels. They will be that way round, so it will be at the top. And if it's obvious, I will, yeah, I'll put something in there to hide it. Um, I think it's just, and because it's, you know, it's stack cut, I've got both sides the same. But anyway, it's a small mistake. What I did after that is that every hole that needed to be drilled, I went around with a, a black marker, small black marker, and put a cross. So I, I didn't make that mistake again, because it does get a little bit confusing around these areas. So, um, yep, that was the mistake on this one. No big deal. It's uh, it's part of the cut, you know. I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. That's for sure. Anyway, it's looking nice.